All right, so we're going to be making some rice today. We have a Dutch oven. It's already brought the temperature with about a quarter, an eighth to a quarter of a cup of canola oil in the bottom of it. It's heat. You can see the oil has just now started to smoke a little bit. So we're going to take some parboiled rice, add about five cups of parboiled rice into the hot oil. Now, as we stir this, you're going to see the rice start to change colors a little bit as it cooks. Right now we're over high heat and you want to keep stirring it and you'll see the rice, some of the grains of rice will get white. They'll turn white as they cook and that's what we're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to stir this and once the rice you'll see they'll get white and then they'll start to get just a little bit tan which actually gives the rice a really nice kind of nutty flavor. The one benefit to this is the rice does not get sticky. It doesn't clump together. You'll see when we're done, you end up with some really, really nice individual grains of rice that you can use for just about anything. This works really well in any kind of soup or something like that because the rice tends not to absorb uh, as much of the moisture as if it's just steamed regularly. Um, it's also a little bit lower water content that I use with this. So we have about five cups of rice. And I'm going to put about five cups of water in here momentarily. All right, you see the, the, the grains of rice now? They're starting to get some white with a little bit of tan to them. So that's what we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add about five cups of water here. Now be careful with this part because it doesn't look like it, but you're dealing with a very, very hot pan as you'll see here. There we go. That's the good stuff. All right, and then we're gonna do a little, just a little salt and pepper. Give that a good stir. Once again, five cups parboiled rice, five cups of water, a little salt and pepper. That's all we've done so far. Throw a lid on it, and we'll see you in 20 minutes. All right, so there is our timer 20 minutes later. And let's see what we have here. All right, there we go. Beautifully cooked. You see how it's not sticky? The rice does not clump together. And at this point, you can do just about anything with it. Season it however you like. In soups or whatever you want. But there's just some beautifully, beautifully cooked al dente rice that's going to be wonderful for whatever we decide to use it for i think this is going to be used for sweet and sour chicken but you can use it for just about anything and that's the way i cook perfectly cooked rice every time it's literally that easy as always if you have any questions or comments please feel free to reach out to me bye